and welcome back to the Madhouse Asylum server. I am the Colonel. Thank you for joining us today. And we're going to start off today by going and digging a mine. A tra a tra blah, 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 blah. It's easy for me to say. Wow, off to a great start. <clears throat> I am going to try and build a tunnel to the Mesa biome, which is where I think it is. Uh, the coordinates that I ga that Bubba gave me, I think, are nether coordinates, because he said he was 6,000 out. And the coordinates he gave me are about four negative 1,400 by about negative 3,600. <laughs> My poor pick. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to build some rails, man. This is going to be a long way out. Uh, we have barely scratched the surface here. Still got about 1,300, 1,200 blocks in the X, and then I don't even want to think about the Z. That's going to be 3,500, so <laughs> I'm probably going to end up going through a couple of picks here. Probably going to have to go mining at some point, too. Uh, before we get back to working on finishing up the uh, finishing up the sheep farm, but things are moving along very nicely, and we have finally enclosed it um, with wool because we were able to grab all of the wool from the wool the sheep that we have there in the first two levels. Um, so it it does generate about four stacks of wool. Uh, on the first level, so I'm guessing it'll be about two, uh, about eight stacks of wool uh, for when both levels are, are used. So that's going to be awesome. Um, so looking forward to getting that up and f completely operational uh, on both levels. But uh, as I say, I want to finish off enclosing the inside, uh, which means I need to get the the white stained clay. And for that, we're going to just look for hardened clay, and we're going to just go ahead and dye it. So, anyway, let me continue digging this. Um, this is probably going to take me a couple hours, I'm guessing. Oh, be back in a bit. All right, so I don't... <laughs> the coordinates that he gave me, I'm still not sure if they are overworld or nether. Uh, as I say, I'm assuming they're the nether, but... Negative 1,400 by negative 3,600 is a long way to go. I have been digging this tunnel, and I went to the end of one pick, and I was probably about a third of the way to the x-coordinate. So what I decided to do was try and gamble that maybe the coordinates he gave me were the overworld. So we're going to go build the portal where... Uh, where I think it's supposed to be. This is a long way. I made a bunch of train tracks. Hopefully we have enough to make it to here, or at least if we don't have enough, it won't be too much more. But uh, to get to the other one, <laughs> it's a ridiculously long way. So hopefully we can get here fairly quickly and then uh, and then build the portal. Getting close, getting close. Holy crap, I can't believe how far this is. And this is another, this is the problem with the seed that we have, is that the, I mean, everywhere is forest. I mean, I think we found like three ice biomes or something, but all of them are like thousands of blocks away from spawn, so. Let us see what we can see with this one. There we go. Uh, and I'll probably want to get rid of these guys here, just in case. All right, light this bad boy. Please be somewhere good. Get my bow ready. Oh, baby. Oh my god, the gamble paid off. 
Oh my lord, thank god. Let's see, which one's this one? Hardened clay, look at that. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh man. That was, uh... I'm glad that paid off. I wasted a pick on it. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Wasted a pick on it, but that's alright. We got here. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. So, uh, no, I wanted to keep that. I wanted to get rid of these guys. So now we're just going to go grab a bunch of hardened clay. And, uh, get a few stacks. And then we'll head back and see if we can finish off. Oh! <gasps> Cactus! Yes! Grab some of this while we're here. Oh yeah, we'll have to set up a cactus farm in a future episode. Alright, enough of this. Let's, uh, to the business at hand, which is to get all of this uh, stained clay. And we'll ca collect a few cactus as we go. Um, but, uh, we'll uh, join you back in a couple of minutes. You know, <laughs> I don't mind if people are checking stuff out, but if you're going to put dirt poles up, please take them down. I mean, <laughs> is it that hard? <laughs> uh, Alright, so we're back, and we've got, uh, got our cactuses lined up here. And we grabbed several stacks of clay and including some orange stained clay and I need to make a couple of chests. I'm not sure if I have any wood now that I think of it. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so that's a one wall. And that's the only side wall that's actually going to be uh, made of clay. Uh, we're going to put some clay on this one once we get the head in, but the head's not ready yet. So, we're not going to do that yet. Almost done. And I think that was the last one. So, we've got a flesh-colored ceiling. Uh, yep. We're looking good. We are looking good. So, what we're going to do... Let's move these guys up, because we're going to have to put some powered uh, redstone torches there. Uh, these guys here can probably move. Um, and then we're going to have to put the dirt up here, so we'll, we'll finish off uh, getting this stuff ready. And then see if we can move some of the, the sheep from down there up. Oh, 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 missed the spot. There we go. And uh, get the sheep moved up here so that we've got the top filled out. And, um, and then we should be ready to move on to the other thing. Oh. <laughs> Good aim. <laughs> to the head for the sorting. Um, but uh, let us take care of things first and make sure Yeah, our light levels are good. Just look a little off on the screen, that's all. Alright, so I will be back in a moment and uh, get this all sorted out. Okay, I have been hard at work trying to get these guys bred up. And we have brought them all up to the top level. And I'm noticing... You and me both, brother. Uh, I have been noticing that the grass is not replenishing. So I'm thinking that I made a <laughs> miscalculation somewhere. And that up here, I need to have a row of grass. So <laughs> uh, as much as it pains me to think about it, I think I may have to remove the roof of the sheep and move it up uh, at least one or two blocks. Uh, so, <laughs> I guess say goodbye to three diamonds. So, I'm going to have to go fix this, uh, repair it, to back up the full strength, 
and then uh, get rid of that. But in the meantime, let me show you what we've done here. So we've got these guys bred up uh, on this side. And then over here, so I've, I've actually started working on the face. And it's actually not coming out as well as I had hoped. I think I can still put stuff up here, but I'd have to get the items up here. And it's I'm not quite sure... Not quite sure if I've got room for that. Um, I probably do if I kind of knock out a little section over here uh, just to have an item elevator. But uh, part of me, well, we'll talk about that later. We're not quite there yet, and I'm going to have to rip some of this out anyway because this is going to mess up my dimensions um, because I'm going to have to raise the roof. Raise the roof! I'm going to have to raise the roof on the sheep. So, oh man, this is a lot of work that I'm going to have to undo. So, um, hello. So, I'm going to have to... Uh, I don't even want to think about it. But this is how I'm breeding the guys up here. Um, I put the fence gates in to keep the sheep from going... Popping out. Um, I probably... Well, this is the only way that I could do it and get it in there at the same time to be able to breed them. I probably could have put some sort of trapdoor or something there, or, or a, a fence gate, but then the little critters would run out anyway. So um, this, I think, is the best. The best you get a few of the baby sheep die because they seem to suffocate in the fence, um, but it seemed to work. I just kind of run down here with the with the uh, the wheat and just breed them up. So we're trying to get around 20 to 25 in each stall. And, uh, one sec. Try to get 20 to 25 in each stall, and then we'll go through and, um, try and dye them once we figure out how many we're going to dye in each pen. Um, so... That's kind of the situation there. I'm going to have to get up to the roof somehow. I don't quite <laughs> quite know how I'm going to do that. I guess I could do this. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Um, nope. Is this the roof? Is this the roof? Oh, look at that. How awesome was that guess? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have to raise this a couple. Man, this this got a bite. I might not have to worry about doing anything with the head, but uh, it might screw up the proportions a bit, so I don't know. So I'm going to have to go use some iron to get rid of some of this wool. Ugh. And then dig up all that clay. <laughs> and move it up. I think it's going to have to be two spaces because right now the clay. Actually, if I can dig it out here, probably should be able to dig it out here. So, right here, I think, is where the grass should go. No, this is the track. And this is the grass, yeah. So, if I knock this out. Yeah. So, if I put the grass here where this is, and then I have to leave a, a spot above it so that it doesn't turn to dirt and then put the roof above that so i need to raise it too so let me get to work on that and uh we'll come back when that is done and the grass is in place hopefully by that time i'll have all of the uh the sheep bred up and uh, hopefully i won't have used too much of my new pick <laughs> back in a bit no! What happened to your face, dude? <laughs> I, uh... Didn't like the face that he had. I don't know. I'm, not that I'm judgmental or anything. <laughs> I didn't... We had to redo the face, uh, the head again. Um, because it was... Disproportionate. Because we went up a couple of blocks. Uh, but... At the same time time uh, I thought about a different way of doing the f the head 
And I'm thinking maybe we could have him eating the grass. So that would make it a little easier for us to unload the stuff and then be able to provide a way into, um, into the head <laughs> through an ear maybe um, to, uh, to get access to all of the, the goodies. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the head is, when it, well, obviously when it's eating grass, it's at the level of the, f the bottom of the feet. So we would need to extend the platform here a bit further, but, or not the platform, but the, the hill. But we can do that. We can terraform that a bit, do some digging and, and kind of reshape things a little bit, make it a little tidier. Um, and I've, I've got plans for that area over there, so... Uh, we would need to do that anyway, so maybe if we kind of flatten this out and even it out a bit So that the sheep can get access to the ground at the right level um, You know, maybe we can build the the actual storage room at ground level rather than up in the air and I think I think that would be really cool. I have to think about a design for that though and I need to fix that because that's two away um, anyway, so we'll have to fix that. I have to f come up with a way of doing it that doesn't look weird. I don't know, I don't necessarily want the, uh, the head to kind of be looking straight down at the ground. So, I don't, there we go. I don't kind of want it, <laughs> it's, it's, this is a stupid angle. Yeah, I guess that's good. So I don't want it to be like face down like this. I kind of do want it at an angle. Because, um, I mean, the sheep's nose is not going to be touching the ground when he's eating, right? I don't know. I have to come up with, uh, come up with something interesting. Uh, but in the meantime, I think we are almost done. We haven't died the sheep yet, but we have finished breeding them. Which... My god, it's such a relief. <laughs> it has been hours and hours and hours I have spent on this thing. Uh, most of the time, I've been able to multitask, but the times when I'm waiting for sheep to, to grow up and, and to wait for the breed timer to go, it's just been crazy, man. Crazy. So, is there a sheep stuck down there? I bet there totally is. I just trapped myself, didn't I? Man! Friggin' troll! <laughs> Stupid thing. Oh. Alright, let's get this done. Stop uh, dilly dallying around. And if, uh, if anybody's interested in me doing some sort of recap or something, uh, please let me know in the comments. Um, I would not mind doing that. I might have to, I don't know what I'll have to do. Um, maybe I can get a copy of the world or something and do a cross section just so you can see everything. But, um, I'm hoping the video that I've recorded up to this point gives you some decent instruction on how to build this guy. Do, do, do. Alright, let's finish this up. I'm pretty sure I have enough rails. I think I overbuilt. And this does a full circuit. So we're going to empty our inventory of wool. Uh, oh, you're out too far. There we go. I thought that looked weird. Okay, so we have all of our tracks in place. We got our powered rails down the other end. Uh, actually, the only thing I think... Nope, nope. I rebuilt some some more shears. So we should be fine and dandy o to try this out. Uh, so let's see. Let's dump all this wool. And let's see how much wool we can get. Uh, I'm, I think one shear should be enough. Uh, be interesting to find out. Let's try. Uh, 
uh, it was really critical for me to um, move the um, the grass block to, to put that grass block up top because without that grass block uh, up in the, under the ceiling, uh, for some reason the grass doesn't seem to want to grow up. Um, so I had to have it so that the grass grew down, which seemed to work, uh, or it seems to work fine now. So we now have uh, replenishing grass up above, which is awesome. So again, with server lag, you're going to have some... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, I took out the redstone torch. Man. One torch. Who knew? Okay. So let's hurry up. There we go. A phone going off. I'm not sure we're going to make a full shear. Or a full pair of shears, anyway. We will see. We're getting close. It'll be great if one set of shears... We'll do the whole farm. That'd be awesome. So as I say, you're not going to get every sheep when you go through this. But you get pretty much all of them. Um, or at least you get enough, anyway. Oh, look at that. One full set of shears. Alright, so let's go collect all this stuff. Do do do. God, I'm so happy. I am so happy. Um, the challenging part now is going to be able is going to be getting all of the the dyes. I do have brown dye, so I'm not even going to worry about bringing those brown sheep up. Um, so the rest of it, I think I think I've got all the colors. We now have the cactus, and I've been harvesting the cactus as I go back and resupply. So uh, we don't really need to build a cactus farm at this point. But uh, we're going to build one anyway, at some, you know, just because every server needs a cactus farm. We might do it at spawn, I don't know. Um, actually, we'll probably do it in the asylum building. Uh, I'm not sure where it would fit, though. I don't know, we'll see. So, we are almost there. This would be a great contest. How many, sh how many wool do you think I have? <laughs> I think I might make it a contest. How much wool do you think I have in my inventory right now? Well, maybe not right now. But when, as soon as we're finished the, the cycle here. Take a guess. I have nothing to give you <laughs> for a prize. So what is your guess? Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half ish stacks of wool. Not as much as I thought, but I think it's because we're going a little fast around some of the corners. Now, if I go grab another pair of shears. Um, most of the sheep should have replenished their wool. So let me quickly run through this, and then we'll take another count. See, that, that one turn just kind of screws it up for everything. And I don't know of a way to slow it down. That's the problem. So, I mean, you can get a lot of wool from, uh, you know, from one of these runs. So, these are going to have multicolor. So, we are going to have uh, plenty of plenty of each different color wool. Um, 
so I guess now the, the thing that we need to do is to figure out how to get everything kind of situated so that we can build the head and have a way... I need to slow that guy down. He's going too fast around that first corner there. So we can work on that. I think the sheep are standing on top of themselves. So I don't... I'm not able to shear them all. I really wish there was a way to control how fast those sheep... the, the minecart goes, though. There we go! All done. And we... Well, we used a half of... Oh, well, I guess some of them were already sheared. So, um... I mean, this is this is great. This is absolutely wonderful. Um, so we are. I'm just gonna run through and collect all this stuff, and uh, we'll catch up with you on the flip side once I figure out what I am going to do about getting the head put on. Uh, I think we're gonna do some terraforming down there, um, so that we can have a platform from the eat off of. Uh, so, anyway, I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright, so I have an idea for how to make this terraforming go a little easier for myself. And that is to kind of make this a pedestal with some retainer walls. So, I'm thinking that if I go, like, two out from the edge of the, the sheep... So one, two, and then put the wall right here. I can make a retainer wall all the way around and even come out the, the here. I'm not sure how far this is gonna come out though. Uh, but basically the top of this will, will come out and be the, the platform or the kind of the ground level that the sheep's gonna be eating. And then we're going to I think have the items um, I th you know what I'm not gonna spoil it <laughs> call me evil I'm not gonna spoil it I think it's gonna be really cool um, what I have planned but basically what you would do is you would come into you know a door or something into the facility here uh, or we could actually put the the wool in the wall um, in dispensers or something like that um, or chests so that people can access the wool from there I think that would be I think that's the better way to go so then basically the the processing for the wool would be under here um, and that would give us one two three four five six six high and I think if I'm not mistaken the machine, the sorting mechanism is like that. And then I think maybe one or two above. So, and those would be hoppers. One, two, and it would sort down here. One, two, three, four. So this would allow us to have the, sh the, the wool at ground level. Um, I think this would work out very well. I think this is going to be the way that we're going to go. So let me get to uh, working on building up the retaining wall. And this actually does double duty. Um, yes, I said duty. It does two things for me. Uh, one is it forces me to get this area terraformed, which is something I've need to do uh, for future builds because I want to kind of do some bunch of things over here uh, so this oh am I down too far hmm. I'm level with the water but this whole area is up one mm, I think I'm up too far down too far rather There we go. 
Okay, so the retaining wall will go along here. And I need to figure out how far to go out. So let me build this, um, and I will be back. Uh, hopefully when I've got this area done and filled in with grass and so that we're ready to uh, to build our storage room back in a minute and there she is so we've got the wall pretty much done I think we're still short a few on the inside uh, so let's go take a look on the inside uh, we're probably gonna replace the floor with something else other than dirt and we need a few more bricks to finish off the the wall here and over there. Um, we will probably probably have kind of a tunnel through here, uh, and we'll probably move the the nether portal at some point. But that's kind of down the road. Kind of thinking ahead a bit. Um, I'm going to move my microphone. There we go. Uh, so, it looks pretty cool, I think. It, it brings a different dimension to the area. Um, it doesn't look just kind of plain. It looks like there's... <laughs> As I was thinking, I was thinking the word epic came to mind, but it's not that epic. Um, it is. It is what it is. Uh, it is a retaining wall. I don't know if I want to put anything on top or not, like a um, like a fence or, or something. Probably not that important at this point. Um, although we probably, actually, now that I think of it, we could use either a cobblestone wall or I think, is there a brick walls? I'm not, I can't remember. I think it's just a cobblestone wall around the outside. I think that might break things up a little bit. Um, we'll see what the... Uh, we shall see. So the, the head is going to munch down here. And uh, we'll find a creative way of getting the wool into this area down here. So this is the... Um, this is like the middle, like it's 22 wide. So this is 11 and this is 11 to the, to the ends. So, uh, we need to go 16 out to get all of the, the, the wool, but we also want to have an overflow chest just in case somebody puts something in the system so that we can just kind of flow it out to another chest. So that'll be off to the side. Uh, so what I think we're going to do uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think we need to figure out where the stuff is going to come in and then find a way to have the dispensers. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have chests and I think they're all going to be lined up along here and we may actually move the door. In fact, we just we just moved it. <laughs> <laughs> doors right here um, so the door is gonna be there so that you come in and man I don't know if I like that because right here that's not too bad how does that look when you come in looks a little claustrophobic right so we go back one now the question is, does that give us enough room and enough backup storage? Uh, the nope, it's going to be four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that doesn't give us a lot, does it? Hmm. We could go down another one. I was kind of hoping not to. Although, although, I guess if we knock this out here, right? We gain ourselves an extra, an extra layer. All 
Alright. How's that look? I think that looks good. So we just need to put some brick here. Uh, did I want to do that? No, I didn't. There. Put brick there. Brick here. So we can dig down another layer. So that gives us a little extra room to maneuver. Cool. Alright, so I need to get more of the brick. Man, this project is starting to take on a life of its own. <laughs> um, hmm. And here I was thinking of something simple with the sheep having its head held high. But that is not the case. Not the case at all. So, um, I guess we're going to have to figure this out and then come back. I'm wondering, I'm not sure how long the episode is. I don't, I think we're getting close. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at, I'm leaving the sign here. Where are we? A headless sheep fetish. Wow, Colonel. <laughs> Courtesy of Banshee. I have no idea who Banshee is. Um, and nobody else does either, so I'm wondering if that is somebody else, somebody's other name that they go by. But, well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. So, if you have any uh, comments or suggestions, please uh, feel free to leave them below. And specifically, I'm wondering if anybody has any ideas on how to kind of slow slow the, the mine carts. Um, <laughs> looks like the sheep piddled. Uh, if there's a way to slow the minecarts from going around, um, I I don't I don't know how to regulate that properly. I I don't think well I I guess I do. I could put redstone under the tracks because I think we've got a one gap one high gap under them. If I can avoid it, I prefer to. But um, if it's just a matter of placement of the the reds the um, the powered rails, then I can certainly work on fixing that, but at the moment, I'm not quite sure where to place them. I mean, anywhere I place them, I'm going to be going too fast, I think, to, to maximize what I'm shearing from the sheep. So, uh, if you have any suggestions about how to deal with that, uh, please let me know. Um, but, man, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this build. It's a big one. I usually take a bite off a little too much, uh, but this one is, is fully functional and uh, quite happy with how it turned out. I, well, I mean, it, it's not finished yet, but the actual mechanism for for shearing and everything, that's done. So, I mean, if if anybody needs wool, you know, hop in a minecart, bring some shears and, you know, go to town. Um but I'm going to uh, I'm going to have to figure out a design for the head and um, figure out how I'm going to lay out things down here. So I've still got a bunch of work to do on this, uh, but we are going to do that in the next episode, I think. Hopefully we can finish it off in the next episode. Uh, so if uh, again, if you have any comments or suggestions, uh, feel free to leave them below. And until next episode, please do take care. Oh yeah, you know you like that, give it a thumbs up, what's on your mind, leaves a text below, yeah, subscribe.